What's up? Welcome to another episode of The Appetizer. As always, I'm Jalen Russell, joined again by Jalen Gray. Uh, today we're talking about the Sacramento Kings. They finished out 29-53 and last year, 13th in the Western Conference. Now, these guys have been getting a whole lot of crap all year, all offseason, rather. Say, people saying they're not going to make the playoffs. Uh, Bleacher Report's Grant Hughes even said nobody had a worse offseason than the Sacramento Kings. I haven't been making the playoffs this year. <laughs> yeah, Portland had a terrible offseason. I haven't been making the playoffs this year. Uh, I think they made yeah. some really good moves, uh, especially adding Rondo. How do you think he's going to work out with this team? I think as long as he doesn't have a falling out with George Carl like he did with Rick Carlisle in Dallas last year, that was just you know a volatile environment for him. And I think if George Carl and uh, DeMarcus Cousins, you know, can work out their differences, I think they can be a pretty good team as long as the off the court issues don't affect on the court. Yeah, two of my two of my biggest worries for this team is just who's going to score because you've got Cousins obviously putting in buckets down low. They've got shooters now. They've got some shooters, but you know Rondo's not going to score, so you know that you're not going to get a lot of points from the point guard He's position except for Collison behind him. But Collie Stein and Demarcus Cousins are going to get. Oops on, oops on, oops. Right, and Colin Stein has been working on his mid-range game, so they'll probably, you'll probably see him working in as like a stretch for at least later in the season or in certain lineups. And you've got Rudy Gay there. They added Marco Bellinelli as well. Uh, people have been ripping on the Colin Stein pick. Did you think he should have got picked at six there? Yeah, I think there were better options at six, but I can see where they were going, especially, you know, they need a little help, you know, on the boards and stuff like that defensively, so I can see why they drafted him. Yeah, and they also had Seth Curry, which I think is going to be intriguing, seeing how he's been working out. He killed it in the Las Vegas yeah. Summer League this year. So I'm, I'm eager to see him get some minutes here, even though they have a really deep guard lineup already on their uh, roster with Rondo, Collison, Bellinelli, and uh, Macklemore there as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I think the biggest thing for these guys, they just need to figure out who's going to play that power forward position. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think their backups are really nice with having Collison, uh, either Bellinelli or Macklemore coming off the bench with Caspi. Kufis as well, who's always going to get boards, really good force down low. They have a good backup lineup. Their starters and their uh, second lineup are kind of equal, I'd say, overall. So how do you have these guys doing this year? I think that it's going to be between them and New Orleans, who, you know, creeps in that eighth spot in the West. Mm -hmm. So I say they win close to 50 games. I'll say 45 and what would that make them? 45 and 37? Yep. I haven't gone 47 and 35 myself, eighth in the Western Conference. But we'll watch out for Sacramento. I think they're going to be a good team this year.